For 12 years, our nation was afflicted with fear nothing, see nothing, do nothing government. The nation, the nation looked to that government, but that government looked away. And my friends, powerful influences strive today to restore that kind of government with its doctrine that that government is best, which is most indifferent to mankind. We had to struggle with the old enemies of peace, business and financial monopoly, speculation, reckless banking, class antagonism, sectionalism, war profiteering. Only desperate men with their backs to the wall would descend so far below the level of decent citizenship as to foster the current pay envelope campaign against America's working people. Only reckless men, heedless of consequences, would risk the disruption of the hope for a new peace. And here is an amazing, here is an amazing paradox. The very employers and politicians and newspapers who talk most loudly of class antagonism and the destruction of the American system now undermine that system by this attempt to coerce the vote of the wage earners of the country. And our vision for the future contains more than promises. Of course, of course we will continue to seek to improve working conditions for the workers of America. <laughs> to reduce hours that are over long. <laughs> to increase wages that spell starvation. <laughs> of course, we will continue every effort to end monopoly in business, to support collective bargaining. <laughs> of course, we will continue our efforts. We will persist in successful action for better land use, for the conservation of water all the way from its source to the sea, for drought control and flood control, for better marketing facilities. <laughs> and here and now, I want to make myself clear about those who disparage their fellow citizens on the relief roll. They say that those on relief are not merely jobless, they say that they are worthless. Their solution for the relief problem is to end relief, to purge the rolls by starvation. But you and I will continue to refuse to accept that estimate of our unemployed fellow Americans and for these things too, and for a multitude of things like them, we have only just begun to fight.